Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking out our ABC 3340 Sports web exclusive from here at the Rose Bowl in Los Angeles, California. And now we're lucky enough to be joined by 24-7 Sports' is Mike Rodak. And Mike, he covers the Alabama Crimson Tide for a living, so he's more qualified to talk about this than I am half the time. So Mike, today, Alabama, they meet Michigan at Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. Even Nick Saban was smiling a little bit. Um, as we get ready for this Rose Bowl game, what would you say, if you have to take the temperature of the Crimson Tide, how would you feel the week has gone? Yeah, I mean, they got here on Tuesday, and it's basically snapping out of that Christmas lull and getting back into the uh, the mindset that you're at a bowl game now, sure. you have to practice, but there is a pretty big lead-up, and you're here for almost a week before the game, and there's a mix of both practicing and the football stuff, but also some of the fun stuff in terms of going to Disneyland, and we sure. saw Nick Saban on the parade today with, with Terry Saban and his granddaughter as well, so... It's a mix, and you know, players do have to kind of keep in touch with making sure they're doing their work, but okay. also having a little bit of fun. It is Los Angeles; yeah. there's a lot of things to do. So, um, you know, I think it's always a balance, and so far it seems to be going pretty well for them. You know, what will be fun for Alabama is the fact that there was an optimistic update on running back Jace McClellan. What did Saban talk to us about today? Yeah, basically said that he, he's back and, and practicing and, and feeling good, and that's something where we all, you know, we didn't see him in, in the SEC championship game because of that foot injury that he aggravated against Auburn, sure. and so. It's a case of you had three, four weeks of rest, and that's obviously what it needed, and that's something that Nick Saban said paid off for Alabama was just kind of shutting him down, uh, not playing him in Atlanta, and now they'll have him back for this game. But they got pretty good play out of Roy Dell Williams and Jen sure. Miller in that game. They'll have Jace McClellan in. He's you know, he's great in pass protection, so that adds something there. But I think we'll still see a mix of all three of those players in this game. And finally, Michigan was also here today. This wasn't just an Alabama event, and Jim Harbaugh got in front of microphones. And when Jim Harbaugh speaks, people listen, and sometimes he provides some bullet and board material. Today he was asked about Alabama quarterback Jalen Milrow and said that, well, he's a more polished version of Alex Orgy, and if you don't know who that is, that's Michigan's backup quarterback. So I know a lot of big Crimson Tide fans are taking offense to that. Is this something you think the team will use his bulletin board material or is this just nothing you know I think they always try to find a little something a little edge here and there so I can't rule it out in this particular case I think in in this case it's it's Jim Harbaugh trying to say that we have talented players we have a player like Jalen Miller who plays quarterback for us and Jalen uh, Miller really has come along for Alabama sure. so at one point he might have been a raw backup quarterback for Bryce Young like Alex Orgy is and obviously we've seen Jalen Miller you know flourish into something much greater now so I don't know if he's necessarily wrong. Um, I think this is probably why Nick Saban likes to not compare players because then that sometimes gets people talking about, you know, if you're comparing sure. him to your backup quarterback, where does that leave Jalen Milro? But I do think there's a level of respect between both of the both of these teams and. As much as it might be Bolton board material, I don't think it's really going to affect anything on Monday. Mike, you're our first beat reporter to go in a series that we're going to run all week, so you're going to have the first crack at it. Alabama, Michigan in the Rose Bowl. Who wins and why? You know, I'm, I'm leaning towards Alabama in this one. I know the, the point spread in, in Las Vegas seems to favor Michigan. Sure. Um, you know, I think some of that might just be Michigan's undefeated. You know, they've played some good teams themselves, but I think Alabama's played better. And I think Alabama might have already played the best team that they'll see this year in Georgia. So um, given what I saw against Georgia, given what I've seen you know, from this team against LSU and Tennessee and, and some of the better teams they've played, I think this is Alabama team that's going to show up and be physical, uh, which is sure. what they're going to need to do. It's going to be a, a ground and pound, hard fought, bloody nose sort of game, but uh, they've shown that they can win those sort of games, and that's something that uh, – you know, they've shown it can win different ways, and I think this is one that they can win. Mike likes the Tide, so do I. We'll get to our official score predictions later on in the week. But for now, live in Los Angeles, I should say live, reporting in Los Angeles, that's Mike Rodak. I'm Johnny Kahn and ABC 3340 Sports.